Hello, here we are in another lockdown in the late autumn of 2020. I find myself in possession of a slab of stainless steel flat bar and with nothing better to do I decided to try and make a knife, something along the lines of this one. This knife's 42 years old, it was given to me by my father for my 13th birthday and I like the way it has a pommel and a sort of guard here and that's what I'm going to try and emulate. I started by cutting myself a roughly knife-shaped blank from stainless steel. Then I carved out some mild steel pieces to form the pommel and some more to form the guard. I'll get those welded in place and get back to you. Before going any further, I thought I'd show you two things. Firstly, it occurred to me that it would be easier to drill the holes in the tang for the handle side scales if I were to do it before welding on all these bits of metal. Unfortunately, I did it by eye and I did it rather badly. I don't yet know what I'm going to do about that. The other thing is that here is the first pair of pommel pieces. As you can see, it's very crudely done, but experience has shown me that I can tidy that up later. Okay, here we are. There are still plenty of imperfections. But at least it's all stuck on. This knife has become quite heavy all of a sudden. After taking my belt sander up to 120 grit, I've had to leave it. Because I don't have any finer belts than that. If this weren't a lockdown project, I'd just go to the shop and buy some more belts. But I can't do that. So this is as fine as the finish is going to get. The next thing for me to consider is the handle. As you can see, I've drilled another hole here, slightly higher, so that they're in line. But what shall I make my handle out of? Well, I've rummaged around the house and I've found this wooden bowl. It's actually made of bamboo, and I think I can live without it. Here's what I cut out. I had actually intended to use this darker coloured piece, but on close inspection it turned out to be a sheet of cardboard veneered on either side with bamboo, so I've gone with a lighter colour. And they'll fit on something like that. There we go. Temporarily bolted on, ready to be shaped. They look a lot better with a bit of shape to them. I'll just clip them on so we can see what it looks like. Hmm. It's starting to look almost finished. In order to encourage adhesion, I've scratched a pattern onto the back of the scales. And I've added a texture to the tang. I think the next thing to do will be to epoxy them into position. Well, there's no going back now. I've just glued on the first side scale using these 4mm bolts to hold it in alignment until the glue goes off. And here's the second one. So that's both side scales epoxied to the tang and the last job is of course the rivets. Now usually these would be made in brass but we're on lockdown and all I have available are four millimeter bolts so I'm going to cut a couple of those down and glue them in. So there are the rivets in inverted commas. They're not really doing anything but it would look odd without them. The last job is to sharpen it. I have spent ages sharpening this. It is a very thick blade. Let's see how well I've done. Actually, that's quite impressive. When I began this project, I didn't really have very high expectations. But in fact, I've ended up making a really useful knife. No one's more surprised than I am. Anyway, 
Thanks for watching.